for watching. My name is Garrett Kerr. I'm a professional videographer. And while this is not a professional production by any means, um, it is a vlog of me and my dad going in to a hunt. So a few important things to say uh, to kind of set the stage for this video are that my dad, Brian Kerr, has been putting in for this hunt for about 30 years for me and himself. And finally this year, I was the one that drew the lucky straw and I uh, was able to, to draw a tag for this hunt. So this hunt is in an area called, uh, it's called Unit 18 of the Seven Devils Mountain Range. And uh, so this area, as you'll see from the video, is very, very treacherous, steep, uh, very hard to navigate. We took some trails that were in, but you, you could hardly tell that they were even a trail at times. Uh, and you know, the erosion that happens and, and things like that just makes this, this place uh, quite unique and uh, quite rugged terrain. And that's where you have to go to get an animal like this. Uh, these mountain goats, it's pretty impressive what they live in and, and what they uh, thrive in. Um, only four goats are allowed to be taken out of this unit. Um, my tag and I believe the others are, are for either, you can take either a nanny or a goat. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. What are you doing? Oh, hey. I am going on a goat hunt. So we're at uh, Seven Devils. And we've been preparing and trying to figure out what uh, the difference is between a nanny and a billy and getting, and, uh, you know, trying to figure out the area because neither, neither of us have been back here. And uh, we're about to head out right now and go see what we can see. First, we, we're here for maybe until Sunday. It's, it's Thursday morning now, so. We've got to go glass and really just <clears throat> try to find out where they are and, uh, and then pick out the one we want. I guess they only really move, don't, they don't move around much day to day, so hopefully we'll. Garrett says that he's been trying to figure out the difference between a nanny and a billy, but I know the difference. So one has a penis. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know if you can say that. If it's if it's going to YouTube, you can you believe me. You can say that. How are you supposed to see a goat in a white cloud? You don't. <laughs> Oh, make your st stomach drop on it. We're in goat country now. Pack's heavy. <laughs> okay, so we made it up to the top of the ridge from where the parking lot's at. We knew we were gonna come up here and then by getting into here, we could see back into all these mountain ranges and there's gotta be goats in here but now it's comes down to glassing and trying to spot something and then making a plan to get get close to it to get a shot uh, we did see as we crested the ridge we saw a nanny and a kid and it was pretty exciting to just get into seeing something so so soon obviously that's not what we're here to 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 uh, shoot but um definitely tells us that we're in the right place so so talk a little bit about the gear that we're using here's the rifle the scope has an adjustable um it's adjustable scope so that we can zoom in um, using this top dial here in here we'll have the spotting scope and then we both have and i'll try to show you here we both have um these bino pouches so that we can quickly kind of get in and get out and then also keep them keep them uh, clean. Other than that, good sturdy pair of boots, um, good camo and stuff to keep us warm because it's cold up here. So as we're working our way along the ridge line to Sheep Lake in the background there, we did come upon another goat. Here I'm zooming in, you can see it just kind of majestically comes out on this precipice here and I um, decided not to take it. It was just early on in the hunt and wanted to see what, what else we could find. More importantly, it was also crazy steep right here, and we, we weren't sure that we were gonna be able to get to it. So we moved on and, and headed on the ridge to uh, get a little closer towards Sheep Lake and this other mountain range. 
Okay, so we're seeing a goat on the other side behind me. Let's see this middle peak, somewhere right around there where I'm pointing. Um, I got him on the scope, so I'll see if I can show you via the scope. So after spotting a solid two goats, maybe a third, we decided to push onward along the ridge line towards Sheep Lake and across the valley in hopes of getting a shot. As you can see, the hiking gets really dangerous. We've got full packs on our backs and there's a couple sections we had to cross with cliff edges. Uh, right here, you can see my dad crossing what I call death's doorstep. Um, it's an off-cambered section, it's covered in snow, and below us, it's steep, but then it just keeps getting steeper as it goes down. After making our way down to Sheep Lake for a ways, we came into view of the ridge line that we had just traversed and saw goats that were fairly close. So we couldn't see them from where we had been traversing before, but with this new angle, we saw that there were two nannies, a kid, and then possibly two billies along this cliffside. These new goats we spotted were in much steeper terrain, um, so we debated as to whether it would be a good idea, but given that we had already burnt quite a bit of light, we didn't think we'd have time or a good opportunity to take a goat from the other side of the valley. So we decided to roll the dice and traverse along this crazy steep terrain and hope that an opportunity would present itself. I think it stopped rolling. I think it stopped rolling. Just took, uh, just killed one. So, can't hear anything. Put <clears throat> first shot into him and then just got a second shot as he was still kind of moving, but it looked like he was gonna die, but fell down a cliff. So we'll see what the damage is. <sighs> sitting where the goat was. This is a good blood shot. There's actually blood clear up on that rock right there. And the goat is down there someplace. Almost makes me nauseated sitting here so steep. This is how steep it is. Ugh. It didn't take long for us to find the goat, but we knew when we found it that we had a huge challenge of getting it out of there. We had some webbing and some rope, luckily, yep. so we tied a slip knot around the neck and the horns. Watch out, rock, rock. And slowly and carefully lowered it down. The camera here really does not do it justice as to how steep this cliffside is. Um, we really had to be careful and be methodical, lowering it down inch by inch. Because honestly, one slip could have been disastrous oh, for any one of us. Okay. okay, I'm pushing. Okay, there. It's 550, Dad. I think. Hey, wait. Don't let me move. Coordinate. I want to. Whew. What have you got there? Ah, nice goat. Really beautiful horns. Good length. Great coat. It's beautiful. Good. We've got about an hour of light left, so we gotta get. Let's get out of here. Okay. 
the the next adventure begins. So now we're doing the deed. We are we got it uh, most of it caped. We got the back straps off. We also gotta cape the take the hide off of the head. Okay. It is what time? 715. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we got a big hill to climb. We are at 8,600 feet, 8,600 feet. We just crawled up the nastiest slope with full packs because we've been goat hunting. Garrett got this beautiful goat, but we didn't get it until five o'clock. That we how we broke it was the stuck. Three o'clock rule. Yeah, we we did by an hour. But yeah, but I guess it was four. But he he fell down into this crevasse. Yeah. And it took us an hour to get him out of the crevasse. Major. That was a we were huge, exhausted. Yeah. But we're not going to spend the night at sixty-eight hundred feet either. No, we'll just put one foot in front of the other and get down. Good job, Dad. Six years old. You, <laughs> you uh, sure Here, let me turn proved your key. manliness. Um, so here's the man of the hour. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't feel like it. Dark off in the, drops off pretty steep there. Just gonna, we're on a pretty safe ridge that we found This is the, I feel like from here on out, it's gonna be better, but yeah, we still have a couple spots, I'll bet. Yeah, although Hoping it was not. not nearly what it was. I don't think so. No, I think what we did was, oh, yeah, you can't get worse than that. It was just a good time. We just got to make sure we can find the right path. Yeah. Yep. Okay. This portion of the hunt we did not film. Uh, we were just so tired and exhausted already, and we also had kind of a predicament. Um, we were trying to navigate in really, really rugged country back to the truck with full packs on now with the meat and the goat and cape. Now we find ourselves back on top of the ridge line. We have the goat and we're trying to make our way back the same path that we can't come in on. But unfortunately, uh, as we're making our way, we are, you know, we're using headlamps. Uh, we're not able to see very far and we're coming to cliff edges. Uh, wherever we go, we come to these cliff edges that we cannot find safe navigable way around so um we kind of went in circles uh for a little bit but then my dad remembered uh that there was a, another trail there's actually a sanctioned trail that was nearby we might be able to navigate to pulling out the map we were able to find where this trail was and where we thought we were and we made our way toward it um, and after a short while of hiking we actually did come to this trail and we felt a great sense of relief However, this trail was very challenging, much more challenging, I think, than the way we came in on. And uh, it was definitely, it was definitely really tough given that the snow that we had been on had melted. And so it became kind of this icy surface. And so many of the parts of the trail were quite icy and quite sketchy. It was slow work, it was tedious, it was one foot in front of the other, but after several hours of hiking down, we made it back to the truck. Made it back to the truck. It's probably midnight. Uh, midnight 30? 11 36. 11 36. Finally made it back to the truck. Success. We didn't have to sleep on the mountain, Dad. <laughs> Gotta feel good about that. Good I'm job. Tired. My legs are. I'm not gonna be able to even get out of the truck once we get back to the <laughs> Good job. 60 years old and doing that is pretty amazing. Whew. Although this was a really challenging hunt, it was and it was definitely one of the top three gnarliest things I've ever done in my life. It was one of the best experiences of my life, and uh, one of the reasons why is because my dad uh, was he's I'm 35, he's 60 years old, and to see him take on this really challenging hunt was uh, was really impressive. He came prepared. He came with a good attitude and he was able to pull not only himself, but the both of us sometimes through certain challenges um, as this day went on. It's great to have a hunt like this. It's great to have, uh, have a challenge and, and be able to take a trophy like this. But for me, what I really got out of it was just a better relationship with my dad and a better uh, sense of gratitude and respect for him. So dad, thanks for the experience. Thanks for showing me what it is to be a real man. I hope we have Another 10 years and many more 
of adventures like this. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'm always trying to better these videos that I make, um, so I'd love to hear a comment below as to what you liked and what you might like to see in the future. All right, well, I hope to see you on our next adventure. Until next time.